Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Macrum. It's time for episode five of season one of House of the Dragon. Really quickly, before we get started, I am thoroughly enjoying the show. I've said that before. Here's what I didn't say at the last episode. I, I Congratulations to you. I did not peep game that Damon wanted uh, King Wormfingers to find out about him and Rhaenyra. I did not even notice. I mean, I thought it was weird that the um, kid saw his girlfriend, we'll say. Uh, Damon's girlfriend didn't took off. It, it struck me as odd, but I didn't put two and two together. Well done, Damon. I'm removing the L from your record and probably give you a bump in the power rankings. Uh, I'm really enjoying the show, as I hope you all are. Full length on Patreon. Press the like button for the algorithm. Let's get to it. Hey, Rhea, is this um, Damon's wife that he insults whenever he gets the chance? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Uh oh. Husband. It is. The Vale sheep might be willing, even if I'm not. Our sheep are prettier, after all. <laughs> the brother has at last. Will you strike the child down? Or. That's right. <laughs> Whoa! What? <laughs> what? How do we start the episode this way? She put two and two together. She put, should have put it together before she started talking. Really? That is dark. They're not pulling any punches when it comes to Damon. I'm not mad at it. King Worm Fingers. Oh, you're the hand! Good job! Strong? Is that his name? Sir, good advice. A moment. Sorry, happy to see Otto. It may be months or years, but he'll not live to be an old man. And if Ramirez succeeds him, war will follow. Do you understand? The mm. realm which he'll have no choice. Either you prepare Aegon to rule, or you cleave to Rhaenyra and pray for her mercy. That was fantastic. Aww. I mean, he did kind of pimp out his own daughter, but um, other than that, he seems like a good father. Other than that, tiny thing. Hey, tiny thing. He should be here to receive the king. Major Wade, he's a jerk. Let's just get on with it. Corliss is the bum. Petty. Unwell. Unwell? I haven't heard anything. I beg your pardon, Your Grace, I may be mistaken. It's just that on the very same night your father was dismissed, the Grand Maester delivered a tea to the Princess's chamber. Wow! I do hope she's not unwell. <laughs> well, that condition must be something very serious. What happiness it is to have been wrong. Uh, uh, I don't know if I love this guy or hate him, but that was rather, I was gonna say smooth, it wasn't that subtle. I enjoyed it regardless. I much prefer the, uh, much prefer the storm wig to the uh, Come, cousin. George Washington wig. Let us discover what might be had for breakfast. It's actually not terrible. I didn't even call it solid. And they beast that GW wig. Oh, good lord. He's a dog. Your Grace. Come down the steps, you bum. The Lady Rhea Royce has passed. A hunting mishap. She yeah. was thrown from. Lady Rhea's skill as both rider and hunter were well known. The gods are cruel. <laughs> Can I presume? that in keeping with Westerosi tradition, their children would take their father's name. Ooh. And they would be born. <laughs> Might I have a chair brought in for you? I do not, <laughs> I do not require a chair. You don't seem well. At such time when their firstborn ascends the Iron Throne, 
he or she will do so bearing the name Targaryen. Ooh. Dr That's not terrible. Not terrible compromise. This is an equitable compromise. Agreed. That was smooth. But if there's nothing further, I'd like to get the hell out of here. <laughs> so annoyed. Well played, Wormfingers. He's impressed with these last two episodes. I hold nothing against your cousin. When do you call them high yellow? And yes, yeah. that's significantly more accurate than Sir Lightskin. I know that whatever agreement being struck up there will not change your appetites, nor will it change mine. Mmm. We perform our duty to our fathers and to the realm, and when it's done, each of us dines as we see fit. Well played. You don't seem that interested anyway. Good job. Familiarity is not at issue. I'm sure Lena was already taken with her. She's grown quite comely these last few years. You know his true nature. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. He will outgrow it. That's how that works, yes. Well, this is better than I could have hoped for. One would say so. This is like best case scenario. Somebody who's playing with fire, so to speak. If there were another path, one that led to freedom, would you tread it? Sir, sir. I'm asking you to come with me. Yeah, you're punching way I'm above his station. You could marry me. That's sweet in a pathetic kind of way. A marriage for love. But that's not the word I'm looking for. I'm naive. Proud. No. It's not even a thought. She's not even considering it. I may chafe at my duties. But do you think I would choose infamy in exchange for a bushel of oranges or a ship to the shy? Tell him. A marriage does not have to be the end. <laughs> His face. He's so because sad. Lano and I have an understanding. It's just a, you're just a stick, sir. Never forget it. So you want me to be your whore? Yeah. An oath of chastity. I've broken it. I, I've, I've sold my, my, my white cloak. It is the only thing I have to my fucking name. I, I thought if we were married, I might be able to restore it. Egan the Conqueror knighted seven kingdoms and put them on a path. So, Kristen. I shouldn't laugh. I feel bad. I can't tell how young he is, but he just felt so out of his depth. Like he reads too many fairy tales. Which is ironic since she's always the one reading. She turned him out. What did she do to him? What kind of special tricks does she have? <laughs> he's so, he's so. Oh, King Wormfingers. I am really enjoying the show, but I would imagine people who like don't watch it that often and might just see my reaction to it. You would think this is a comedy, how much I laughed. Sorry. Not the princess, sir. The queen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm your servant as always, my queen. Concerns our dear princess Rhaenyra. Please. Well, I hope he doesn't get the wrong idea about the questioning. You're goddamn right. It's, of course, unthinkable for me to question the virtue of the princess, whom... I hold in highest regard. I, I did, however, wonder if... Spit it out. ...reaches or rather lapses. It happened, Your Grace. The sin you allude to. I have committed it. Oh! Sir! Oh, you dummy. ...has been broken. I have dishonored myself. Oh, my God. Rather than gelding me and having me tortured, you would sentence me mercifully. To death. Thank you for your honesty, Sir Kristen. Agreed. That's bold. You may go. That it? I'd retire my post and I would run far away. That SO thing you're talking about? Do that. <laughs> Stay right out with it. He couldn't even hold on to half a second. He's a good guy, you can tell. I like him. I don't really understand him, but I, I do like him. Many that are tested only wish to have been spared. Grace, that is your right. <laughs> As always. Yes! He does not look he's gonna make it out of this episode.
I understand the Queen is still readying herself for the celebrations. This is why men wage war. Because a woman would never be ready for the battle in time. <laughs> I, I guess if he did that on purpose or completely accident, he strikes me as an idiot. My betrothed. This mofo. Does the king know what's up? Look at him, I'm so annoyed. Hey! My man. Oh! The king will not be happy right in the midst of his speech. Seriously? What are you, a jerk? Please be seated. That was awesome. <laughs> it's not funny. The man is heartbroken. Speaking of which, you look more angry than heartbroken. This is so tense. Just waiting for the shooter to drop. Lady wife. Ah, yes. Terrible thing. I'm positively bereft. Such a tragic accident. You know better than anyone. The truth is, I'm glad you've come. I wish to speak to you about my inheritance. <laughs> what? Damon's so bold. I plan to fly to the Erie and petition Lady Jane myself. Perhaps I'll see you there, Sir Gerald. Gerald's got so emotional. He didn't think that through at all. Gerald stinks. Beat it. Absolutely. Has anybody ever told you you're nearly as pretty as your brother? Oh, you flatter me. I have a dashing idea and a dragon rider. You appear to be every young maiden's dream. That's only because you don't know me yet. I believe Sir Kristen has bloodied that white cloak of his with your bride's maiden hair. I'll keep your voice down. Perhaps Seriously, you're wild. They make a handsome match. Kill him. Screw it. That boy is good. I know, he'd be even more trouble. Don't do that! Don't do it! What's your business? You don't know me, Sir Kristen. No, but we are both deeply invested in this union. Because if those are kept safe... And so are we all. I hate him so much. Joffrey is. Big shock. <laughs> Go ahead. She said, be about it or stop talking about it. What just happened? Oh, dummy. Oh my god. He just hit the king consort? There you go. Back to. How bad is this? Oh. I mean, for you, this is very bad. I meant your face. Source of life and love. That was awesome. I'm so glad he's dead. I'm yours. <laughs> Most depressing wedding ever. Uh. One soul. Now and forever. Sir Kristen. Yes. That was amazing, wasn't it? All right. That was episode five of season one of House of the Dragon. Where to begin? I'm going to say that was a fantastic episode, particularly the last 15, 20 minutes or so. That whole event, that whole shindig, you could just feel it in the air. There had been no major events 
unless you consider Sir Chris getting his heart broken a major event, which I do not. Um, and you just knew something big was going to happen. Whether it was bad or not, you could only suppose. But you knew something big was going to happen. And dummy Joffrey getting killed was perfect. And I got to be honest. As great as it was, it was fantastic. Ironically, it's not even the best Joffrey death on the show. How great is that? And yes, um, Joffrey dying in Game of Thrones is easily still the best moment in that show's history. And I still consider it the greatest moment in TV history that I've seen. I can't speak to MASH or uh, Hogan's Heroes and things like that. But as far as I've been alive, that's still the one right there. This one was almost as fun. Um, I felt bad for him, but you attempting to punch above your weight, not knowing who you're dealing with. Kristen has been on a uh, razor's edge for this whole episode. You decide that now, when he's clearly emotional, he's barely keeping it together at this goofy wedding. And now it's time we're going to try to muscle him? Man, I'm just going to beat you stupid. I'm sorry, it was fun. I'm sorry, I loved it. I loved it, man. I cannot tell a lie. Um... I assume, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not funny, because that wedding was so not fun. It was so, like, joyous 15 minutes prior to that TV time, um, and then for it to be so dark, they're both crying as they're getting married. Um, Lena, or because of his uh, boyfriend, I guess we'll call him, and... Um, Rhaenyra, because I would assume she thinks Kristen's about to off himself. And then Allison stepping in. She impressed me this episode and bothered me. Um, her questioning uh, Kristen, that's number one, always good. She got the truth. She didn't have him do anything rash. Um, kept the information to herself, much like her father would. Or... Maybe. Uh, after the last episode, I don't know what Otto would have done. Um, and then her showing up late here, I didn't like. I like the first part. I didn't like this part. I get it. You're upset. Let's not be so petty about it. You keep it cool. I don't know. I think Strong is the hand's name, and that's his son that is on the cane, we'll call it. I did not know he was such a player. I did not know he had um, such moves in his arsenal. Why is that? I mean, uh, a couple episodes ago, we see him sit with the women because he's can't hunt, essentially. And there, you got you pick up all types of information. We know his dad is rather bright when it comes to giving advice. Um, and we, I see he's up to something here. When he's talking to the queen. He's he's doing this for a reason. Um, to cause dissent between Rhaenyra and Alicent. Fair enough. How does that help him though? Outside of the fact that chaos is a ladder. Um, I don't know. I really enjoyed this episode. I. I. Don't know how to say what I want to say about Rhaenyra. As much as people complain about the duties they have. Um, as royalty or in their high positions in the real world, you just know that they wouldn't actually, it's within their power to leave that position. There's a hundred different things they could do. They don't like being the president or in this case, the princess or the queen or the senator or the CEO. There's 87 different things they could do and they choose to stay because at the end, despite the complaining, it's still better than every other option. That's how I felt about Rhaenyra complaining, usually. Even though her complaints are justified, she could leave. She could do a dummy set and go to Essos and be on the run and yada, yada, yada. But you won't because at the end of the day, you do want the power of your station. Not knocking it. Not knocking it at all. I approve. Unfortunately, Sir Kristen took her words a little too seriously and got his heart broken. Oh, it hurt. So now his cloak meant nothing. He's not going to get the princess, which I didn't even know he thought might have been an option. 
Um, and now you just murdered um, the king, future, I was going to say future king consort, but the king didn't like him the last. Uh, the king consort's boyfriend. You probably should off yourself. But wait! Allison says, hold on a minute. Why? Future plans? I hope so. I hope so. Chris is a good guy. I don't want him to die. Anything I missed? I don't think so. That was a great episode. Might have been the best episode so far. Great episode. Um, Really quickly, I'm going to take Otto off of the list because he's not around. Sorry, Otto. You got to go. Um, So he's retiring. We're retiring his jersey up in the rafters. Number 23 from North Carolina. Playing for the Chicago Bulls. Otto. Um, Hightower? Yeah. You're retired. We're moving on. Number one. Hmm. <laughs> uh, it's close. I'm going to give it to Rhaenyra, actually. Number one, she got married. Number two, her position is still uh, what it is. Her dad seems steadfast about her being his heir. Um, married. Um, it's a Christian thing to work out, but you almost pulled it off. And, and for me, you called Damon's bluff. If it means that much to you, start killing folks and do whatever it is you're going to do. And he, he didn't, or at least all hell broke was before he could. So she's one. I'm going to go with, hmm. I want to go with Allison too, but I, the 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 pettiness bothered me. I'm gonna mm, I'm gonna go with Damon too, for only for <laughs> killing his wife. <laughs> in the first three minutes of this episode, as a play, and then boldly proclaiming you were gonna get her stuff, um, at the ceremony. So yeah, Damon too, then Allison. Because uh, she proved her brightness before this episode, and she appears to have another piece in the game. So, Kristen. Number four, I'm going to go with um, Handstrong's son. I don't know what he's up to, but he's up to something, and I don't think anybody suspects. I don't think Allison suspects at this point. Uh, and five, do I need a five? I kind of want to go with Worm Fingers. But uh, he doesn't seem long for this world. LVP, Damon's dead wife. Because what was that? What was that? She started talking all this nonsense, and then it hit her. Oh, he's here to murder me. Dead. Uh, And then number two, in the same family, her cousin, was talking crap at the ceremony, and then didn't even think it through a little bit. Anyway, um, post your comments down below. What did you think? I am not ready for the time jump. I'm going to miss both those actresses. I think I heard it's Rhaenyra and um, Alicent leaving. So I assume this is a sizable time jump. It's got to be at least 10 years, right? Anyway, um, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. 